Hello, welcome to Soulprint Intuitive Tarot. I'm so delighted you're here and that you found me and that you're taking a few moments to see what's happening on Soulprint today. It is July 27th and as usual I have a question. Specifically, I have a question about Jared and Ivanka. But more generally, I have a question about whether or not consequences are ever going to be paid for the actions and behaviors of, you know, the Mitch McConnells and the William Barrs, um, Justice Kavanaugh, like that. So, you know, the general answer to that question is, well, of course, consequences are going to be paid because there's karma and, and karma ensures that, you know, there is a balance. But honestly, I'm kind of more curious to know if there's going to be consequences in the real world, in the legal world, in terms of, um, you know, sort of them having to pay the price in this lifetime for some of the absolutely abominable, abominable, <laughs> okay, you know what I mean, um, behaviors and just the cruelty. I, I think it's the cruelty that makes me the craziest. So let's do a quick shuffle and we're going to ask first about just consequences and what that looks like, just generally, because there's no point kind of um, narrowing in on one person. And then I think we're going to take a look at Jared and Ivanka because I think as the days go by, they end up in deeper and deeper trouble. Come on down. Let's see what we can find out. Okay, so... Here we go. Political legal consequences. Political legal consequences. Political legal consequences. Okay. So, with this group, and I'm talking about the McConnells and the Lindsey Grahams and William Barr, that Stephen King, that group of people, this is the story. They're totally willing to sacrifice the truth for financial security or material gains and possessions. That's their story. It's not any more complicated than that. Some people are better at it than others, right? I mean, here's Trump, you know, looking at his little ball of gold and, and thinking, not, thinking no further than his money and his possessions and that which is tangible surrounding him. That's his deal. And you have the, the others, kind of the others, who continue to push forward and push forward, even though, you know, their reputations, their names are just being like dragged through the mud. This is the problem. When you have a group of people, oh my goodness, acting as if they are completely above the law. And frankly, in this moment in time, they certainly appear to be because nobody is holding them accountable. They don't appear to be suffering any ramifications or repercussions for the behaviors and for the, um, you know, things that they do and the way that they do them. But this indicates that a judgment will be coming versus right versus wrong right versus wrong that judgment and i love the blindfold because it sort of reminds me of your um oh who is that you know you know the the justice symbol with the and she wears blindfolds um so this is indicating that absolutely you know what there really is going to become 
come a time when there is a price to be paid. And that price could be anything from being shunned, being destroyed, to in some cases actually incarcerated. So it's nice to know that we will be able to see um, some of the more immediate results and reactions. So, you know, so this is the thing, right? Every time this kind of comes up, this whole, well, retaliation for what they've done. And before you know it, somebody is using the words, oh, that's what they do in banana republics. And we don't need, you know, that kind of behavior here. Well, you know what? That assumes that what is going on now in your country, it's that it's normal. It's not normal. There's nothing normal about what's going on. And so there has to be a slight changing of attitude or a slightly different perspective in order to be able to pursue this sort of after the fact or towards the tail end of this situation, which is when, you know, people are going to be held to account and questions are going to be asked and judgments are going to be made. But there definitely needs to be a little bit of an adjustment so that the prevailing attitude is not so much um, this is what happens in a rep banana republic or even this is retaliation. The mindset has got to be this is about the laws and the stability of our country. This has to do with the safety and the security of our country. We need to ensure that this kind of dynamic not only doesn't happen again, but what, that we put in place what needs to be put in place to ensure that legally, by law, it is much more difficult should somebody ever try it again. So let's take a little bit of comfort from the fact that, in fact, it does look like there really could be some, you know, repercussions coming down the road. And, um, you know, that's a good thing. Again, nothing happens in a vacuum. All of that requires vigilance. It requires, um, you know, people demanding that the truth be made. It's not enough to... <laughs> okay, so this is the, the picture I just got in my head. It's not enough to sweep the spider out of the kitchen. Okay, Th that's not enough because somewhere the spider probably laid a bunch of eggs, right? So it's more than just getting rid of the occupant of the White House. It's about ensuring that it is cleaned out on all sorts of levels, be they federal, state, county, city, town. There needs to be a house cleaning done. And people need to look seriously at strengthening... Um, the rules. And you know what? The United States is not the only country that has this problem, but they are the country that is drawing incredible attention to the problem right now. And hopefully other countries are paying attention and saying, you know what, it's really time to look at our own processes and our own policies and ensure that we also are safeguarded because it's not like Russia's, you know, was one and done. They're going to keep doing it, and China, and Iran, and whoever else. They're coming after democracies. And so it's really important that all the countries of the world um, who they don't, you know, like or approve of are protected. Because they might, yeah, you know what, in two years or four years or whatever it is, they might move on from the United States, and then they might attack, you know, I don't know, Australia or New Zealand or Canada with the kind of vengeance that happened um, in the States. So that's my little rant on that. Now I want to take a look at Jared and Ivanka, the love couple. I'm going to leave this one out and call it the foundation or the base for the reading. So a couple quick shuffles. I've got cards inside out and backwards here. And um, come on down. I want to take a look at um, 
what's going on with Jared and Ivanka and what the road ahead for them looks like. Come on down. Okay, so. Jared and Ivanka. Do tell. Jared and Ivanka, Jared and Ivanka, Jared and Ivanka. So here we have our anchor card. <laughs> perfect, how perfect. Okay, so here is the... Um, the Ken and Barbie couple, okay? Behind the scenes, there is a lot of fighting and squabbling going on in that household. They are very much in a defensive and protective posture. They're fighting against each other and they're fighting um, kind of the world, right? They're fighting to hang on to their reputations, which have been absolutely destroyed friendships, business associates, all of those things have become tenuous at best and in fact, if not lost. Um, they like to play with dark money. They like to do the whole behind the scenes thing and, and you know, maneuvering this and shifting that and, and making this work to their advantage. They actually consider their, their vindictiveness and their evilness and their underhanded ability to just shatter what are considered even responsible business norms they consider that their greatest strength you know they're not they're not innocent in this they are very much um active participants and here we have the promise that in time to come their hearts are going to be broken because they are going to be called out, okay? They're going to be held to account. So this is also another situation where we're glad to see that there are going to be consequences for these actions. I actually do not see Ivanka and her brand recovering at all. I think it's just going to continue this downhill slide. And I know that she's doing all kinds of things to try to safeguard that and secure it. But by time everything is said and done and there are um, legal situations that are going to be, you know, involved and they're going to be defending themselves and, along with daddy, there's going to be so much yuck that comes out that I, I don't see them actually being able to salvage their reputation or their brands. The Kushner brand is also likely to fall simply because it is so badly run and so short of funds. And, and the thing is, and this of course is again what these people just don't seem to understand. Once Trump is no longer in business, in office, those people who have been, like the Saudis, who have been financing Jared and keeping him afloat, well, you know what? He's no longer valuable to them because he's no longer in that inner circle. He can no longer pass on confidential or top secret information. He can no longer manipul manipulate the situation for someone's best interest and or for their protection he becomes unnecessary and when that happens he is going to face a significant uh, loss of assets and income and support so it's just as simple as that when he, he when he stops having anything to say to, to to these people that is valuable to them his dollars diminish and dry up And Lord, they're greedy. Lord, they're greedy. But take comfort from the fact that slowly but surely, their greed will experience a change of fortune 
And even if it happens slowly, it happens methodically. And that's something that we really, really need to keep in mind. You know, we live in a time where everything is just fast, right? You know, you, you go into your computer and fast, fast, you have the answer to a question or you have information on something. Everything we have now in terms of technology just forces us to move at a really, really rapid pace. But the law and justice, simply by their nature of needing to be fair and balanced, does not move at that rapid a pace. And so in some instances, we have to sort of almost like check our desire to have quick, 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 let's get it done. And we have to understand that in order for some of these things to stick and hold, it's going to take time, very much like the whole impeachment thing, right? It's making everybody crazy. But as Nadler said yesterday, you know, this is fundamentally, what they're doing is fundamentally the impeachment inquiry. Just because it's not labeled exactly like that right at the moment. Again, look at the broader picture, you know, and see, well, are they actually moving forward towards this? Well, yes. Okay, so does it matter if it's called apple or orange? It doesn't. It just matters that there's forward movement and the very same thing is going to happen here to them. So, you know, that's nice. Now I want to take a quick look, keeping them that um, card out of the anchor. I want to take a quick, quick look at exactly how compromised they are. Because they are. It's just a matter of um, how much. So, Jared and Ivanka compromised, Jared and Ivanka compromised, Jared and Ivanka compromised. They can't hide in the dark forever. They're going to be challenged. They are going to be called to defend themselves. They are going to be, there is going to be a demand that they be held to account. And their usual tricks, which really boil down to, I'm special and, you know, indignation and my daddy's really important, are going to completely dry up. Because in fact, playing the daddy card will only more rapidly and more completely uh, paint them with exactly the brush that they probably don't want to be painted with. There's a lot of dark money. They're going to look back at this time. Now, normally this card is red in, you know, leaving the troubled waters and moving into the smooth. What's going to happen with them is that they are going to look back and they are consider going to consider this period of time actually the smooth waters. And where they're going is much bumpier and much more difficult to defend and they're actually not going to be very successful at defending themselves. A lot of dark money, a lot of legal shenanigans going on. Um, you know, they literally, there are so many, you do this and I'll do that going on. And, and it expands, like it's, it's, it's with China and, and it, it's with Saudi Arabia and, and it's with, Countries and people and places that we don't even have an inkling of at this time. They think, they really do think, that their life is going to be wonderful and they're going to be able to live kind of off of the presidential glow for generations. They're not. 
They're not going to be able to. It's not happening. Again, they are going to look back at this time as the bright spot. You know, money from across, across the ocean. It's all about money, right? It's all about stuff, things, money, possessions. So, yeah, you know what? They really are. They're compromised. Um, there's a lot of sort of thievery and underhanded behavior going on, and it is going to come to light. It is going to be discovered and found out as people celebrate because at this point, it has gotten to the place, the point where everything seems to be corrupt. Nothing seems to be honorable or just or even humane. Even sort of the basic boundaries of, of human behavior. So as people fall, right? And as they are, are there is a demand to, for them to be held into account, the world, the people of the United States, and by extension, your allies, are going to celebrate. And they're going to do what they can to ensure that the people who are um, going, doing, handling the situation in the United States, so the prosecutors, the intelligence agencies, whoever and whatever, have the information. And this is really interesting. This is a flash that I've just gotten. So, Jared has been running around the planet, you know, making his dirty deals and, and doing the things he does. But in some ways, he, it's like he's actually not smart enough or can't hold the thought in his brain long enough to understand that intelligence agencies, not only the United States's, but Canada's and England's and Australia's and New Zealand's and are watching him. They're monitoring him. He is absolutely on their radar. And there's not a lot that they're going to do now because in order for England, in, in order for, you know, the, the United Kingdom to send forward their intelligence regarding the Kushners, both of them, it's going to end up passing somehow, if not through past Jared's eyes, at the very least, it's going to pass by people who are Jared and Ivanka allies. So, would it be surprising if once Trump is out of office, that all of this intelligence from all the different places around the planet start flooding in to the Justice Department under a new director, um, the intelligence agencies, who again are going to be under new directors, etc., etc. You get my point. Things are being held in abeyance until such time that they can be safely released. I guess it's sort of the global equivalent of a sealed indictment, right? Um, we're going to hold this until such time that we can safely release it into the world. And again, here we have the three of swords indicating heartbreak and pain going forward. Okay, it's all about the money. The truth is going to come out. They're going to look back and understand that this time was the best that it's going to be. The rest is a downhill slide. So, take comfort, right? Jared and Ivanka are going to end up having to defend themselves and they're not that's probably not going to go very well and more broadly speaking consequences will come to bear on people who are currently now behaving in such a lawless manner and, and honestly it doesn't it it it's so clear of course they're behaving in a lawless manner because there are no consequences the the, the guardrails that normally would prevent somebody from being so blatant about their corruption have like they're wobbling they're tipped over they're bent the hold the hold but nobody's coming after them so why would they stop 
right? I mean, honestly, it's like the little kid who has figured out how to get into the cookie jar and takes the cookie and look, eats the cookie and looks around and, hmm, that went okay. I'm going to take another one. No results yet? Okay, I'll take another one. It's exactly what's going on in the United States government right now. So send love and light and clarity to those people who are out there fighting the good fight, whether that is you or your neighbor or your government official, keep that positive healing energy going. Um, let it grow and build and build because that in and of itself is going to create part of the momentum that is going to create that blue tsunami. Okay, so until next time, Take care, be well, and we'll see you real soon now. Bye.